Honest Man! As I review Mad Max Fury Road the movie, I shall use this video as a key to the gates of Valhalla! So Mad Max Fury Road is the fourth Mad Max movie. The last three Mad Max movies came out way long ago in the 70s and 80s. Beyond Thunderdome, the most recent one, was made 30 years ago. And they were all directed by mastermind George Miller. Ego much? I didn't actually see the other three Mad Max movies, but you, you do not need to. This is a standalone movie. So this movie is supposed to be a sequel and not a reboot, but it takes place after the events of Mad Max 3, apparently, but Max is like completely white. They rebooted the character Max, but not the world. It's it's weird. It's it's just a reboot, okay? And this movie is getting ridiculously amazing reviews. While this movie is definitely overhyped by now, it's fantastic. I couldn't believe how much fun I had with this movie. It by far is the best movie I've seen so far this year. It might be the best action movie I've seen so far this decade. I'm serious. It might be, guys! It might actually be the best action movie of the decade! It's not that good, okay? But it is still really cool. Mad Max's premise is pretty simple. There's this guy with this mask, I don't even know what his name is, and he's like, WHERE IS SHE TAKING THEM? Charlie Theron is taking them to the green place, to this super far away place, because everything gets the post-apocalypse, there's desert and everything, it all looks terrible. And then Max, played by Tom Hardy, gets captured by that skeleton mask guy that I did just did an impression of. And then he helps Charlie Theron escort this tanker full of women to a place. This movie is one long car chase, and it is Pretty much all done practically. Whenever you see a car flip or blow up, that's a car flipping and blowing up. People have really been praising the visuals of these movies, like, they've really minimized the CGI, and I, I definitely can confirm that. What was that? Guys, if I get murdered, tell my family that they bought the wrong cereal. Mad Max is certainly cool as Tom Hardy. He's got, he's, he barely talks. He's got like maybe 20 lines, the whole movie. And they gives him kind of a clean with like a man of few words, must choose them wisely style approach. One of the problems with having a purely action movie is that there's so, it's a very simple, straightforward movie. There isn't a lot of story. There isn't a lot of character development in the movie. People have really been saying Charlie's Theron far outshines Tom Hardy, and I, I disagree. I think they, they share the spotlight equally. Nicholas Holt plays one of the crazy white men. He's, he's Beast from X-Men, if you forgot, but I really, really love these guys in this movie. I love how they talk. This movie is pretty crazy. It's not as crazy as they've been saying, but maybe that's just because I've heard it and I'm going in thinking it's going to be crazy, but compared to your standard movie, it's pretty crazy. It's like one of the cars is a giant, like, speaker thing, and there's a guy playing a guitar, and there's fire shooting out of it. And, like, that's, that's the music, too, and there's, like, people on the drums, so that is the score from time to time. You actually hear in the movie. Kind of like my Birdman review, remember that? I was a young paddle on back then. And there's a part where a guy's like blindfolded and he's got two guns and he stands in the car. And he's like, I am the scales of justice! And he goes into this Thor-like speech about how he's gonna destroy Mad Max. And the crazy white men like worship the immortal skeleton guy as like their god. He will ride us to Valhalla. It's such a well done, vehicle driven action movie. This movie kicks Furious 7's ass. And that's a damn shame. Fury 7 is gonna make so much more than this movie. Prediction-wise, I think Mad Max and Pitch Perfect will be about on par, but I think Mad Max will edge it forward just a little. With the Mad Max video game coming out, I really, really hope they use a lot of these elements of car combat in that game. And the part where they're going into the sand tornado and there's lightning coming down, that was the best part of the whole movie. The music is all kicking up and intense. I like the music because the music's like half like super hardcore like action metal to like this symphonic orchestral. Ah, it's a pretty good dichotomy. Ooh, fancy word, dichotomy. I'm an English major. In terms of violence, this is a pretty soft R. I mean, it's very violent, but it is not in any way graphic. Like, there's barely ever, ever any blood on the screen. That doesn't really impact anything, it's just a thought I had. I, 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 I gotta say again, the action is so well done. There's no shaky cam. There is parts that are sped up, like the beginning of the movie when Mad Max is running from all the uh, the white crazy men. Like that footage is like played on fast forward. And I'm like, the whole movie better not be like this. And then it wasn't I'm like, okay, good. So that, that comes back from time to time, but never when they're doing the beautiful car action scenes. Those look Gorgeous. Big fire explosions, these great wide shots. It's, it's so well filmed. And you know me, I don't like being in one place for too long. Like, the whole movie takes place in the desert. I'm like, this orange is gonna get kind of boring. But there's such a simple thing that they do. All you have to do is make it night, and it completely wipes the color palette. It makes this beautiful blue. It is, 
so refreshing. It was a really good design choice. And I was looking through the whole movie trying to find Mel Gibson in there somewhere. I, I didn't see him. But yeah, this movie's great. It's a fantastic action movie. I'd say it's about on par with Kingsman, but not quite up with Avengers, as you will see with my very standard rating system. And Mad Max Fury Road is worth an 8. So go see Mad Max, come back, and join me in my crusade against those with stupid opinions. I had a longer version of that in another video, but I couldn't remember what it was. I'll... We're working on it. I, 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 want the, I want the word crusade in there somewhere. Like, subscribe. Also, check out some of my other videos. And goodbye. And stay tuned later tonight for Pitch Perfect 2.